backwards, yeah. Immature lover who don't use big words, yeah. I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want. Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? Rosa Parks Transit Center. Well, Kasha. Huh. So what are you so happy about? Girl, I just got a job in Cali. Okay, I'm about to get the hell up out of here. A job in Cali? California? Mm-hmm. Really? So what, you don't like my house or something? No, especially because you're in it, so there's that. Mm-mm. So you about to leave my man alone, because without him, you will be somewhere with your crackhead-ass mama. Mm. You know what? You take this motherfucking blood and sit your ass down. Baby, what we need to be celebrating is that she got a job in California. All right. Hey, look, I got a new fifth coming, and I just got this fresh pack of Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. You know what's going down tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Tangie, do you see this? Get your man. He always be on some freak shit. Hey, I know you're the one stealing my dirty panties. Give me my what? What did you say? He be still in my dirty panties. Girl, bye. What he need your funky ass panties for when he got all just a sniff? Oh, nice. Get mm. that right, baby. Mm. Y'all nasty as hell. Give me the, give me the bullet. Mm. Give it. Y'all need to go in another room with all that bullshit, okay? Don't worry about it. We will. I hate you. Mm. No, you're not. I hate you. You got an expiration date. I hate you. Like deep down, I do. I can't believe this happened again. I'm waking up in my cousin and boyfriend's bed. Now, I knew I shouldn't have celebrated with their sick asses. Yeah.
Bring your ass on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Like, what? You're taking all day. I can't believe you got me doing this dumb shit. So find her little ungrateful ass. Now drive this raggedy ass car and let's go. Hey, bro, ain't that one girl on our block? You talked to her yet? I don't think so, but maybe I should have, because she looked bad as hell right And maybe when I'm over there, I can convince her to listen to your garbage-ass mixtape. Garbage? Nigga, you got me messed up. Girl, wait a minute. Let me tell you what my motherfucking boss gonna tell me. Talking about I'm always late for work, and I need to catch the early bus. I mean, come on now. Do it look like I'm the bus driver? I mean, like I can control his schedule? Are you fucking serious? My mixtape yeah, garbage. Hey, there she go right there. Go talk to her. You the man. Yep. Hey. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Girl, Tyrone got a new thing. Oh. And I knew you was a bitch. Come on, bro. Let's go. Cutie. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hey, look here, uh, what's your name? Sasha. Sasha? I like that. <laughs> My name's Tyrone. Hey, Tyrone. Do I know you? Oh, so you gonna act like you don't know me? Woman, don't you see me trying to holler at this young cutie pie over here? Go on. Then suck cutie in with your old ass. What the hell are you doing? Bring your motherfucking ass here. Shut up. What the fuck is you doing? What does it look like? I'm getting the hell out of Detroit. I can't believe you let that asshole drug me. Again. That's some sick shit, Tangie. Calm the fuck down. Because you could have stopped taking on the motherfucking mileage. All you had to do was say no. That's your motherfucking fault. My fault? It's my fault that you let your nigga fuck me while I was drugged and unconscious. Come on, Tangie. What the hell are you doing? Damn. You in that bitch ass nigga you call your man. Fuck you! You ain't gonna be shit. Who the fuck get a one way ticket on the bus to California anyway? Tangy, would you stop? You know what? All you gonna do is wind up like your raggedy ass sister selling pussy on the motherfucking strip club. I hate you. Good. You're just jealous because I'm getting the fuck out the D. So what you gonna do, little girl? Just come on now. Get the fuck out my face, bitch! <laughs> Damn! With your dumb ass! I should beat your ass some more, bitch. Damn. Damn, Tangie. You done knocked the girl out. You're not about to leave her out here like this. Damn. What the hell are you doing?
Come on. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Uh, damn. Oh, so you're a drug dealer. Damn, why I gotta be a drug dealer? Look at your place, what you mean? How else would you have a place this nice? When you I'm an about? entrepreneur. Okay. Oh, you, you from Detroit. You ain't used to young brothers like me getting money. <laughs> Come on, let me show you the house. Yo, Deshaun, this is beautiful. I can't believe you're really living like this. I mean, you see this shit every day. I mean, not every day. This is just one of the cribs. I'm sorry, what? I have two cribs. What do you mean you have two cribs? I have multiple homes. Why do you have multiple homes? Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I mean, what do you expect? I mean, this place is enough, no? No? I mean, sometimes it's cool to just switch it up a little bit. Okay, so where's your other pool? I I'll take you by tomorrow. You got you. Okay. <laughs> Tonight, we have this. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was fun. What? So, I'm super tired, and I only see one bed. Where am I supposed to sleep? <laughs> I mean, this bed is big enough for the both of us. Oh, I'm, you're I'm, really just I'm just playing. Now remember, we I'm, went on I'm Instagram. Just, I'm just playing. You can sleep on the pullout. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Oh, please. You got a bed. I sleep on the pullout. Oh, well, thank you. Such a gentleman. Good night. Hey, Samantha. Hey, Sasha. Guess what? I'm on my way to Cali. To California? Yeah, I'm on the bus. I thought I told you that I didn't have any space for you. Why the hell would you just come out to California without asking? Oh, wait, hold up. I gotta plug my phone in one second. See, I told you her ass would do some shit like that. This is exactly why I cannot stand your father's side of the family. All right. Damn, Samantha, chill, OK? Yes, I'm coming to California. But not to Los Angeles at your place. I got a job in San Bernardino. A job in San Bernardino doing what? Direct marketing. Direct marketing? <laughs> what, are you about to sell some magazines or some, some ads or some shit? Yeah, I'm not sure. I won't really know until I get there, but let me call you back. I got to let my phone charge. OK, bye. Oh, this bitch. My God. I told you that your father has some dumbass kids. I mean, who the hell would take a bus all the way across the country and for a job they don't even know what it is? Wait a minute, you have a lot of nerve. I don't know what our mama seen in your nasty ass, perverted ass father. You said you weren't gonna talk about that again. You stoop so low to say some shit like that. Jasmine, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't even mean anything by it. Look, I'm I'm sorry, Jess. You can't believe everything you hear. Jess, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. You forgive me. 
Hey, hey, wake up. Come on, wake up. Time to get up. Time to get up. Hey, hey, I need you to get up. Come on. Come on, I ain't got all day. Let's go. Get up. It's still dark outside. I don't care how dark it is. It's 5.30 in the morning. I need you guys to get up and start working on your pitch. I'm picking up a new girl from the bus station. So I need you guys to be on point. You understand? All right, I need you to teach her. Come on, wake up. Yes. Yeah? Y'all yeah? ready? All right. Out here so early in the morning, huh? I told you don't be bringing that shit around my girls, all right? I'm not gonna tell you again. I used to be your girl. Remember that, Richard? Oh, or should I say, Rich? I came to California to sell magazines. I'm out here on the streets selling pussy, smoking meth. And whose fault is that? It's your fault, motherfucker. Because you fired my ass and left me out here alone. Don't let me see you around here again. All right? Jesus fucking Christ. Part one, how many times have I told you not to touch my shit? I don't want anything to do with your shit. Oh, really? That's not what you said last night. I told you I don't get down like that. That's what I'm talking about. He looks at you every single day. What? No, 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 no. We are not going to be doing this this early. Especially Mr. Richard on our ass. He is not gay, and neither am I. We don't give what you are, so we're just gonna work together and be happy about it. Thank you, Steven. I just want everybody to be honest. Then you shouldn't have been a salesman. You know what? Be a little bitch. Power bottom. Father, baby. Terminal entrance is that direction. You go straight to the window marked Milwaukee, and you buy your ticket and go home and see your mama. Okay. I know she's missing you, baby. Oh, sweetness. I am so sorry this happened to you. It's okay. But you need to know you are a good girl. He's the bad guy, and you made the right choice. Make something of your life. All right, pretty girl. Call me, okay? Thank you. Anytime you need anything, call me. Okay. Bye. So, you must be Sasha from Detroit. Yep, that's me. Mr. Richard, right? Call me Rich, because I'm about that money. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to make some, too. All right? You grab your bag. I'm going to take it to where you stand. So how was your trip? Uh you see me. Ah, not this is everything okay? Yeah, just a uh, ride share driver. She tried to overcharge me once. Don't, don't worry about it. Baby girl, I just sent one home look just like you. Go back wherever you came from. Go right back.
Can I see you out here? Sasha, these are your new roommates. I know it looks a little tight right now, but we have some extra beds in the back there. All right? So y'all go ahead and do your introductions, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Mr. Richard. Well, all right, girl, follow me. All right, girl, so here is your bed. I know it's not much, but I'm from Littleton, West Virginia, so it's basically the Taj Mahal to me. <laughs> so yeah, here's your spot and make yourself at home. Hi. Hey, I'm Brenda. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, what was your name again? Jody. Have you seen Karen? Where'd she go? She's in the other room. Karen! Uh, yeah? Hey, are you sure my bed isn't occupied? Yuck! I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Your fingers are gonna fall off. Oh, girl, those were Tina's. You better go soak in some bleach before those little bugs called crabs start crawling up your Brenda, arms. Brenda, stop! Y'all are scaring her. Give me those. All right, don't listen to Jody or Brenda's ass, all right? I cleaned everything in there, and I washed her sheets twice. So you got nothing to worry about. So you from the D, huh? Yeah, I see you heard of it, huh? Yeah, she from Atlanta, the ATL. She used to date this big dope dealer dude she liked to talk about a lot, who's from Southwest Detroit. Well, damn, Brenda. Just tell all my business. <laughs> Girl, whatever. <laughs> well, she brought it up. A baby big smooth. Mm, girl, he was my everything. Spoiled me with diamonds, pearls. He even bought me a yellow brush. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brenda, why did you have to start Jody? Now I have to listen to her same ass story she'll tell anybody and everybody. I used to have this. I used to have that. Blah, blah, blah. You're needy ass. Yo, why are you such a hater? She's mad because she's from one of the poorest cities in America where the media only talks about black people on food stamps. And everybody in that little city is on meth, shooting heroin, and using welfare. Why I think you better trash. come in the other room. What'd you call me? Poor white trash. Poor white trash. Mm -hmm. Poor... Bitch, who do you think you're talking about right now? It's not worth it. It's not a good thing here working for Richard. You know she's just gonna end up like Tina eventually anyways. Yo, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? So another black girl comes in here, and now all of a sudden you want to team up with her? Shh. I'll always stick together, huh? <laughs> Whatever, Jody. It's lights out anyways. All right, we got an early morning tomorrow, so lights out. Shh. Night. What'd you say about me? I said you don't run shit with really? your country ass. <laughs> I do run shit because it's lights out. You know what, you keep on, and I'll make sure Mr. Richard doesn't give you that bonus. Jody, can we get started? Yes, of course. You guys know I'm Jody Jackson, and I am the new senior coordinator because uh, Miss Karen had to be sent home. So I would like to introduce you to the owner of the company, Mr. Richard Thompson. Please take the floor. Thank you, Jody, for that grand introduction. But I am in charge because I'm the owner of Thompson Direct Sales and Marketing. Now, as you know, we're currently marketing magazine subscriptions in a bundle at a great discount. So you need to take pride in what you're selling and doors will open, literally. Yeah, but it's somewhat of a dead product. I mean, magazines, really? Everybody's using their cell phones, tablets, and computers in place of paper magazines nowadays. Yeah, I mean, the last time I actually opened up a magazine was when I was sitting in the toilet. <laughs> Steve, right? Steven. Okay, Steve, what this shows me is that you haven't been reading your pitch. Because digital sales are included in the pitch. But I'm gonna get back to that later. Right now, I'd like to introduce a new team member. Her name is Sasha Lanes. Sasha, can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, everyone. My name is Sasha Lanes, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. The D. But I'm really excited to be here in California. 
And back to you, Steve, and Marwan. As you know, I'm always three steps ahead of you. And I know you've probably noticed this young lady sitting right here. She is not a new team member. She's a new partner. And she's going to be telling us a little bit about these products that are on the table. Hi, everyone. My name is Crystal. I am with Oil Me Beauty. Take one, pass it down. This is just some information for you guys. So I'm going to be doing a presentation of the products that you guys are going to be selling, OK? So the person who started this company had one goal in mind, and that is to bring out the inner king or queen in all of us. I heard queen. I'm already sold. Hey, hey, hey. Let her finish, all right? We came up with this line to make everyone of all colors and races look and feel good without breaking the bank, which means that all of the Oil Me products are reasonably priced, which makes them easier to sell. Our products contain all natural shea butter, avocado oil, olive oil, and jojoba oil. What you call me? Did she just call me out? What? I, I oh, okay. Hey, hey, what you guys need to know is that we're gonna make 25% of all the sales, which means you could potentially double what you're making right now. 25% of the commission? After you sell a certain number of products, yes. Okay? So let's go make some money, all right? No, sir, I, I'm not quite sure where we are. So, I told you Karen don't run shit, right? <laughs> Send her ass right back to Littleton, uh, what's that town called? Girl, I don't even remember. Oklahoma, West Virginia? <laughs> Give me a map I could not tell you. Listen, I can't even find that on the map. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so now I'm running everything. Yeah, you did that. I'm gonna get in your bad sack. <laughs> don't that do was... it. Don't yeah. do it. I will send you packing, too. And, uh, Marwan? Oh, he's about to be on that list. Not sure where we are. Jody dropped us off. We've been going door to door. Yes, we're making sales. We're doing our best. I don't have a count for you right now. I don't know if we can sell them all. Yes, Mr. Richard. Positive attitude. You got it. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye. So, how'd you do? What city is the homeless shelter in that we support? Shit as if I know why. Because a lady just slammed the door on my face because I told her we supported a homeless shelter in this city. You're right. There's no homeless shelter out here. Right. Obviously. Look, from now on, just tell them it's a homeless shelter in L.A. They've got plenty, and you can trust me on that. You're lucky we're not selling magazines. I mean, these beauty products, they could sell out here. But come on, we got a lot of doors to knock on. If Jody rides by and sees us not walking, she's going to snitch. Let's go. Okay. Um, what and a, Sasha? What's going on with that? Girl, you tell me. Listen, cause... he better act right. I know he likes me, so. Okay, but I know you be feeling him too, so watch out. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. And uh, you know Richard is just wrapped around my finger. Yeah, trust uh, me, I know. My place is secure. I ain't going nowhere. Around nowhere. my finger. Uh, tell what? me. You trying to what? <laughs> Where's everybody at? I don't know. I they would hurry up. Oh, how were your sales, Marwan? Yep. I don't know if I can do this, you guys. I don't know if I can do this line of work. Girl, the first day is always the worst day. Carol, just relax. No, but all the rejections, the doors getting slammed in your guys' faces. Look, Sasha, you are taking this way too personally. They don't get to see Mrs. Jody's sexy ass presence when they do that shit to me. Make it about the money, because it ain't about them. Really, Jody? You're so into yourself. And you just mad because I won't give you any. <laughs> so 
Exactly. I told y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sasha, just ignore that. It's your first week. It's gonna be fun. It's okay. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> Glad to know. Look, y'all, it's getting dark outside, and you know Mr. Rich don't like that shit. I don't care that it's getting dark. I'll go home when I want to. You stop eating her food. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hello, Young Lions. I want to invite you to my African Cultural Experience Workshop. We just spoke the word. We talk about life. We uplift one another. All right. Well, guys, it's my time to go since, uh, Miss Live Drive and Voodoo Lady has approached. I don't know. No. I'm not. Wait up for me. Girl, wait a minute. I can't have Miss Ride Share Queen either. No. So, you must be the Penny Pimp's new protege. I'm Sean. Oh. How you doing? Good. Have we met before? Well, like the Penny Prince and Princess just said, I drive for all the ride share companies, the local ones at least. So maybe. OK, well, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sasha. You said Ashanti, right? I mean, well, we both have exotic names. <laughs> well, Sasha is Russian. Ashanti is West African. It's a tribe, a region in Ghana known for its gold, rich heritage, and sexy people. Oh. Okay, Sasha, I think it's time to go. We should probably get back to work and get well, the office. Take this with yeah, you. you know what? We'll take all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. And pass them out? Yeah, sure. Sasha, I want to give you my card. You call me if you need anything. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Richard. <laughs> you see, you see, I shouldn't pour you no more after you took so long to get here. Look, I had to change out of my wet clothes. I'm sorry. You know, I was at the pool. Give me some. Oh, that's mm -hmm. enough. That's enough. That's enough. Ooh. What is in this? I'm feeling good. It's good, huh? Yes. Malla Percocet. Ooh. Mala Percocet. Mm -hmm. You know, my wine likes you, right? Mm, no, mm. I'm good. He's too short for me. He's too short. Yep. He's too short. Yep. Somebody else likes you, huh? Hmm. And I'm tall. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. That's Richard. You're something else. I'm sorry, Rich. It's Rich. You're something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? Hmm. You could be my assistant. No more knocking on doors. No, unless Rich is out. I don't know. Oh come on, girl. Why'd you come up here then, huh? I was. Huh? I'm just trying to. This is Jody R. It's okay. Just relax. No. Right? You're gonna love it. No. They please, all do. Please don't. Please. Yeah. I know you're saying no now, but you really mean yes, girl. No, no.
can't believe this is happening to me again. I don't know what to do. I'm at my wit's end. Lily, last week, I met another one. He brought a pretty little girl. Couldn't be any more than 18. 20 at the most. Just so trusting. And he turns them into prostitutes and little drug addicts. Two weeks ago, one of my officers found a little girl unconscious that he took from Hawaii. She said he raped her. Oh my God. But they won't come forward. All we need is one, just one to come forward. You know, Judge Lewis? That's her. Oh my God, Lily. Think of All right, up and at him, Sleeping Beauty. Come on. Where am I? So you don't remember anything about last night? Percocet pimp strikes again. Honey, I left you a washcloth and a towel in the bathroom, going to freshen up before lunch. I made short ribs because they're my favorite. You do like short ribs, right? So, how did I get here? You passed out in front of my house last night. My girlfriend and I, who happens to be a social worker, we brought you in. All I remember is being in Richard's room, and he had his hands all over me, like some sort of... Octopus? Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. And then I hit him over the head with a, a lamp. You hit him over the head? Yeah. Oh, please tell me you broke that lamp over that motherfucker's big head. No, I did. Yes! Good for you, baby! And then I just ran away. I can't believe this is happening. Stop. It's not your fault. He has done this to plenty of women over the last six months. But I promise you, you're going to be the last. Sure, I'm hungry. <laughs> When's the last time you had a home-cooked meal? Seems like forever. It really <laughs> does. But, Ashanti, thank you for taking me in. Like, you saved me. Do you really want to thank me? Mm hmm I need you to go down to the police station with me. I need you to file a police report. This nigga needs to be locked up so he can't do this to any more women. Well, I'm all for it. Whenever you're ready, just let me know. I've got family in L.A., so I can probably stay with them for a bit. Relax. There's no rush. I mean, I could use some company, and I have plenty of room, and I think that you could use some mentorship little awakening. Let's see, I bet you still brush your teeth with fluoride, which is basically poison in a tube. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's my favorite cereal. Of course it is, because you obviously like trisodium phosphate. Paint thinner. Honey, you're eating paint thinner for breakfast. Paint thinner? Paint thinner, yes. Okay, so I guess we didn't meet just by chance. Oh, sweetie, there is no chance. Everything happens for a reason. Our ancestors are always watching over us, leading us, loving us. But you're probably still praying to Jesus. White Jesus. Oh my gosh, honey. Jesus did not ask us to pray to him. He said pray our father. Okay, now you may be crossing the line. Cro Why? You are crossing the, the line. Color line. Mason Dixon line. Richard? Oh God. What the fuck are you doing in my house? Bitch, don't act like I ain't been here before. It's the first time I realized you kept the key. You got five seconds to get out. Sasha, you late to work. Sasha doesn't work for you anymore. As a matter of fact, I don't even know you anymore. You got five seconds to get out of my house. Or what? Or I have a legal right to kill your yellow ass. Five, four, three, two, two one. <laughs> Yeah, I told you we'd find one of my business. You wanna play with me? I'm tired of your ass. Motherfucker! Ashanti! 
After what happened to Mr. Richard, I decided it would be better if I got out of San Bernardino. I'm sorry for calling again, but I got in some trouble in San Bernardino. Stop. Stop. I know you don't have any room for me. I know. I know what you said. You don't understand. If you don't allow me to stay there, then I have to call Dad, and I haven't spoken to him in years. Samantha. Get out, Ron. Bernardino hotel stuff, okay? Last time I checked, you two refused to help pay for the room, and I was the one stuck with the bill. Whatever. Girl, hurry up and get up. I need to go to the bathroom. Don't you mean go to the bathroom so you can stare in the mirror and blow kisses to yourself all day? Duck lips. It's not a good look on you. <laughs> Just saying. Right. Now move. Some of us actually have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry for taking so long. I'll just do my hair. Mm -hmm. Your shirt is a cotton. I don't know. This ain't even my shirt. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. Actually. So like, uh, like, excuse me. Hi. Hi. You know you're a musty, right? No, I didn't. But here you go. Go ahead and sit down. Ashley, this is Sasha. She just moved to Cali. Yeah. We're just talking about how pretty her hair is and what a natural beauty she is. Look, she doesn't even have any makeup on. How pretty, huh? Oh, and did you ask her how she was over there turning tricks over at the motel with all that natural beauty? How she was You should not have said that about me. You don't even know her. No, I'm good. With all I've been through this week, we that don't even face me. But. <laughs> Ashley. It's Ashley. I know. Get it right. Like I was saying, not everyone at that motel was wholesaling pussy. See, some of us were selling beauty products in magazines. I can't believe you would say something like that, because like she said, you don't even know me. And I know I don't look like a hoe. But with all that makeup on, you look like you could be one. Bye, ladies. I have to call dad and I haven't spoken to him in years.
believe it. Is it really you? Is it really you? I mean, really? Is it really you? <laughs> Is it you? You. <laughs> I can't believe my little doodle bug all grown up. Daddy, doodle bug? Yeah, doodle bug. Doodle bug. Who else is gonna call you doodle bug? But your daddy. <laughs> your daddy. You in? Anything to me. This is how she's gone most of your life. I know. I'm sorry. Hey. Are you okay, baby girl? Sasha, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you on the phone my situation? Uh, Smith, I don't want to be here either, but Daddy dropped me off and I have nowhere else to go. Who daddy are you talking about? I ain't got no daddy. You talking about Kevin? That married that Haitian bitch? Her name is Sabrina. Nobody asked her. Jasmine? Can I come in? Jasmine, come out here. Can I come in? You might want to get in the car. You might want to get in the car. Well, Jasmine? Come in. Excuse me, ladies. I'm looking for the cigar bar. They said it's on this street. Can you help me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not from here. I'm from Detroit. Well, so am I, Miss Fine. Ooh, what up, though? You know what? It's, keep on pushing. You ain't there yet. You want to go down this way, make a right on Lancashire. You're going to be there. All right, Pimp. Don't hurt nobody. I hope you'll join. Uh, I'm sorry. Jasmine, right? Nice to meet you, too. Sure. Why would you come here after I specifically told you that we don't have space for you? You don't listen, Sasha. I don't... Okay, first of all, I already told you I have nowhere else to go. Okay, our father is the one who said I should come here. Yo, he told me he would pay for my move-in and my first month's rent, so please just let me find an apartment first. First of all, that is not my problem, okay? He is lying. He is not gonna help you find an apartment and your ass is gonna be stuck living here with me. And that shit ain't gonna happen, period. You know what, let me... Let me calm down. You know what, Sasha? You can stay here for a couple days, but when me and Jazz leave, you leave. You find somewhere to go and you don't come back until we come back. Cause I damn sure ain't giving you no key. Let me ask you one question. Why are you treating me like this? You acting like we're not blood, like we're not sisters. What's up with that? Oh, okay, first of all, put the bag down and go to the shower, because I can smell you. Oh, you can smell me? Want to know why? Because you left me outside for hours knowing I was waiting for your ass. Regardless, I can smell you. Bathroom. Give me a towel. It's in the bathroom. Right here? Mm-hmm. going on, but you know this place is way too small to have somebody else up in here. And you know that it's too small because I pay most of the rent. Wait, don't you mean your sponsor pays most of the rent? Irrelevant. I don't want this drama in my house. But don't you mean our house? Yes, our house. But you're going to speak to your sister, and I'm going to go back in that room and make myself a few calls to see if I know anybody who has an apartment to rent, because I'm not dealing with all this shit. Just calm down. She's only gonna be here for a couple of days. That I can promise you. A couple of days only. I'm not for that. Sasha. 
Sit down. Can I put my clothes on first? Sit down. I need to talk to you. This is a <laughs> Okay. Let me just ask you questions. Mm -hmm. Do you feel deep down in your heart that Kevin is your daddy? I was just because I heard your mother was out there like that. Yes, Samantha. I do feel like he's my daddy. You want to know why? Our little brother David. I think he looks just like me. No, he don't. David has my features. Not yours. Hmm. The word is, we don't even have the same bloodline. Like, we're not real sisters, Sasha. Why would you say that shit to me, Samantha? Like, to my face? You know what? Let's just be honest. Let's just be all the way real, all bullshit aside. All right. Your mama was a hoe. You should be running to Maury, like, tomorrow and finding out if that's even actually your daddy. You know, frankly, he told me he was gonna pay for my move-in and my first month's rent, so I don't give a shit whether he is or not. He is a lying piece of shit. He always has been, mm -hmm. he always will be. He was even a crooked-ass cop. Like, listen, this is what he does. He puts his women ahead of his children, okay? Okay. And that little hoe that he's with right now, Guaranteed, she is not about to let him pay your rent. Oh, wow. No, I never knew that's how you felt about me. But it makes sense, since you treat me like shit. <laughs> but you know, it's cool, it's cool. I'm gonna try my hardest to find a place in less than a few days, just so I don't inconvenience you or Jasmine. Mm hmm But hopefully tomorrow, okay? I mean, there's no need to apologize. I'm just trying to, you know, keep it real with you. Oh, but I didn't apologize. Don't. Here, Sasha, I figured you'd need this. Thank you. Oh, no, I know that's not my wine y'all are drinking. It cost me $25 a bottle. For, you owe me $50 anyway. Mm. Would you at least save me a glass? There's some. Whatever. I have something that I think the both of you guys would like to hear. My friend Quincy, he has an extra apartment, but he usually does Airbnb, but I can ask him if he can rent it out to you. I know you're not talking about the same Quincy that you've been chasing after since college. Whatever. Oh my God. Mm. I'm gonna drink the rest of them. Uh, uh, not the bedroom, the couch. Rise and shine, young lady. Oh, no, no. What's, what, what's going on? Time to get up. Why are you talking so much? My head is spinning from that cheap ass one. Samantha gave me strict orders to wake you up before she went to work. She said that when I leave, you must leave. And by the way, my wine wasn't cheap. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. I'm going hiking. You can come with me if you'd like. No, I don't have any workout clothes. Oh, sucks, bye. Oh, I have some workout clothes for you. And after we finish the run, then you can meet my friend Quincy, the one that has that room that you can rent, and then we can go see him.
made it. And it's so beautiful. Can you come and get me? Jasmine, you just gonna leave me here? How am I supposed to get back? Call my sister. Wait. Where are you? Samantha, I'm coming down the hill right now. I don't Damn. Where you act like I wanted you to pick me up. I didn't want to be left here stranded. I'm about to come down three minutes. All I need is three minutes from you, please. I'm not spending my gas. You're going to pay me back. Sasha, get in the car. I told you not to come out here in the first place, remember? Now you messing with my time. Look, you, you just need to get your shit together, because I'm not going to babysit you. Like, why the hell would you come all the way out here without a ride back? Your sister left me here. Look, I don't even want to fight with you. OK, I'm tired. I've been hiking all day. I'm sorry. Can we please just go home now? <laughs> home? I'm sorry, don't you mean my house? Because you ain't got one of those, remember? Whatever you want to call it. Can we go? Get in the car, Sasha. See, this is what I was talking about. Actually, that looks really good. You're a good writer. Do you like it? I really like it. Like, you're really talented. All right, I'm gonna peep at that. You should. What's up, Quincy? Hey. What you been up to? Hey, what you doing here? Hi, I'm Leticia. I'm sure. Dang. Okay. Uh, well, Quincy, it's it's been a good time getting to know you. I'm gonna give you a key now. I wish that I could keep the room a little bit longer, but I gotta catch a flight, so. Call me, okay? Excuse me. Mm hmm Sudo. So, I didn't realize you were in the Spanish girls. Really? Oh, that's right. You did date Maria while you were in college. You know, I don't even know how I forgot that, especially since it was while you were dating my sister Jasmine. See, you haven't changed much at all, big sis. And I've mm. been over my Latin stage. I was just renting out the spare room through Airbnb. I thought your sister would have told you. I'm engaged now, Sam. OK, first of all, don't call me Sam. Only my friends and family call me Sam, and we both know you screwed that up a long time ago. Second, I need you to rent your spare room to my half-sister, Sasha. What? You were not my first pick. But my place is too crowded, and Jasmine told me to ask you. You know she still like your ass. She knows that I am very much in love. But I'll talk to my fiance, and I'll get back to you. OK, well, thank you. Appreciate it. You like it? I'm yeah, inside. I made it just for you. Thanks. So, this girl, Sasha, she's your ex-girlfriend Jasmine's sister? Not exactly. She's a half-sister of Jasmine's sister. Huh? Jasmine's sister on her mom. All right, whatever. As long as she pays her share of rent on time and doesn't sit her ass around here doing nothing all day long like you do, I'm good. Where's she work? Well, I got her an interview at the cigar shop tomorrow. The place you write at? So she don't have a job already? Have you even met this girl? No, not really. I mean, but I didn't meet all the other ones that rented from us online. Oh my God, are you serious? Like, she's not staying for a couple of days, Quincy. She's moving in, fool. Did you even get first and last rent and a security deposit in advance? Yes, Carmen. I at least made sure of that. No, I'm going to make sure of that. And by the way, did your agent get your scripts sold or even optioned yet? Which one? You know, the one you was all excited about. 
taking chances, chances taken, I don't know, whatever you call it. I'm the only one paying bills around here, Quincy, by myself. You really need to think about getting a real job. Maybe if you take them damn braids out your head, somebody would hire your ass. Oh, and newsflash, Snoop Dogg, Bow Wow, and Allen Iverson got rid of their braids a long time ago. Armin, please don't start this shit again. You know I got money coming in as soon as I sell the script. So why you keep stressing me? Damn, that's the last thing I need. You fucking up my creative vibe. And besides, we got a permanent roommate now that's giving us cash up front. So that should take some of your stress off. Damn. I lost my appetite. And newsflash, at least my hair is real. Hey, I'm sorry it didn't work out with you staying with me or Samantha, but this looks like a nice place. Yeah, I was just on the phone with that guy, Quincy. Quincy? You said you were staying with a girl. No, I am. I am. Her name is Carmen or something. I don't know. Jasmine told me. But Quincy is her boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, I had to empty out my whole little stash, okay, without Sabrina knowing about it. So Ooh. far, so far. Okay. But when she finds out about it, I'm probably gonna have to rent a room from you. <laughs> oh my... Dad, oh my God. Thank you. I know this doesn't make up for me leaving you in Detroit with your crazy-ass mama for 18 years. It's a start. Jasmine and Samantha couldn't wait to get me out of their space, and I was just so tired of hearing all the negative stuff Samantha had to say about me and you. Yeah, well, listen, like I said, I know who I slept with, and I know who my kids are, all right? Samantha is just very bitter with me about what she thinks I did to her mother, mm -hmm. all right? But I don't want you worrying about nothing, okay? Everything's gonna work itself out. Okay. All right? Yeah. Need any help? Uh, no. Everything I own is in that little double bag, so I think I can manage. Give me a hug. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. With all my heart. Yeah. Now get out of here before I start crying. Well, stop, because then I will. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me a call if you need anything. No, I will. I will. Okay. Is that you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? It's you! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. Hey, you must be Sasha. Come on in. Babe! Yeah. Oh, hey, Sasha. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Carmen. I'm sure Jasmine already told you about my friend Quincy. <laughs> Her fiancé. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so you have first and last security deposit? Oh, yeah. Uh... Perfect. Thank you, girl. I like you already. Hey, let me show you to your room. Okay. I gotta get to work, so... Well, let me grab my keys, baby, so I can take you. Oh, no, it's all right. Derek from next door is gonna take me on his bike. Derek? The, the new neighbor? Yeah. I didn't say it was okay for you to be riding to work with Derek. <laughs> really? You do not tell me what to do. Boy, bye. Sasha, make yourself at home. I'm about to go right. Hey, are you going to that cigar shop? Because if you are, I really need to go grocery shopping and job hunting. Do you think you can drop me off on the way? If not, it's cool. No, nah, it's cool. I'm headed that way. Yay, thanks. Ooh, thank you. So what, you don't like the radio? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I just got a lot of my mind, sorry. Are you originally from Cali? Yep. Born and raised, South Central L.A. Proud graduate of Crenshaw High School. You a crip or a blood? Really? Now you sound like the white kids from my college. They always used to freak out when I told them I was from Crenshaw High. That was the first question they asked. Well, look, I really appreciate you for letting me room with you and your girl Carmen. She seems really cool and friendly. Yeah, that's the problem. She's too damn friendly. 
You can just pull right here. Yeah, this is good. There you go. Thanks. Let me know if you need a ride back. Oh no, I'll probably just grab a lift or something. See you at home. Place. I mean, it's cool. It's finally getting settled in. Yeah? They fix it up for you? Yeah. Mm. If you need anything, just let me know. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what a neighbor's for, right? Might just have to take you up on that offer. <laughs> I saw your bike outside. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. You like it? I love it. <laughs> when are you gonna take me on a ride? You said whenever you want to. All right. I'd love for you to get on it. Mm, me too. All right. All right, I'll see you later. All right, baby. Have a good night. Hey. Oh. Hey. I got groceries. Nice. Carmen made some space for you in that cabinet. Ooh, thank you, Carmen. What you cooking? It smells good. Lemon pepper chicken. You cooking for you and your boo? I hope so. Carmen said she might be late again tonight, so it might just be me and you if you're hungry. Oh, hell yeah. No, you ain't got to tell me twice. See, I'm always hungry, especially all that interviewing and walking around today. Oh, yeah. How did they go today? I got a job. Hey, I got a job. Hey, yes. Wow, check you out. Didn't take you long at all. No, when I want something, I get it. And that's facts. Thanks for me. Hey, you on your way home, baby? No. But I just made all this food for us. Yeah, I know I could offer her some, but that's that's besides the point. I made this for me and you. Yeah. Well, your mechanic called and said your car will be ready Friday. She need a ride? Hello? Hello? Carmen? Is everything okay? Yeah. Just let me set the table up. I'll go get fresh enough. This is so good. You really can cook. I'm impressed. What can I say? Well, I've got skills. Mm hmm Yes, you are. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, slow down. There's more food. I can get you some more. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really hungry. Plus, I've never had a man's home cooking before. Mm. You said your father's out here, right? So your mom's back in Michigan? Does she cook for you? How's her cooking? Uh, no. Me and my mother have an estranged relationship. We don't talk. I was raised by my Aunt Debbie and my crazy-ass cousin Tina. So I'm really happy to get away from that place, you know? Wow, Detroit's that bad, huh? Oh, I'm not talking about the city. I'm talking about my family. My older cousin Tina, she's sick in the head. She loves sex just about as much as she loves food. Like a free spirit? No, she's a freak. Yep. What you gonna do? I don't wanna talk about her. This is so good. I'm glad you like it.
this again. Yeah, whenever. Okay, so let's make it happen. Maybe tomorrow? That sounds good. All right. Mm -hmm. Good night, baby. See you later. Looks like you already cleaned this plate with your tongue for me. Okay, I'm gonna get you. Oh, oh you wanna play, huh? <laughs> Why don't you just take your bath here since you wanna play what? so much? No! <laughs> really? I see I'm not the only one to have fun tonight. Baby, I thought you said you were working late tonight. I did. So why is Derek riding you home on his motorcycle? Because I wanted him to. I like the way the warm motor feels between my legs. How it slowly revs up and then just gets hotter and hotter till I just can't take it anymore. And then I get my ass up on the edge of his seat and I let the wind blow between my legs and just cool me off. <laughs> God, I love you, Harley. You talking about Derek's motorcycle or his dick? Listen, Quincy. What you say to me doesn't matter anymore. Oh, really? I'm just tired to fight with you. Good night. You think you will? Get off me. Come here. No. Kiss me. No, I'm not fucking with you tonight. Get the fuck off me. No, get the fuck off. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Sorry, so wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that Mr. Richard mm, Rich is in jail now? And that he might be sentenced to eight years to prison? What happened to Mr. Shanti? She was the one who turned in all the evidence to convict him. She rounded up all the girls he abused and they testified against him. It was a mess. Karen's back in West Virginia. Jody's out here in LA working the strip club scene. Wow. Man, I was so scared. I got the hell out of San Bernardino and I wasn't looking back. I mean, Mrs. Shanti said she would take care of everything and told me to get out of town as fast as I could, but I thought Rich was dead. Mm, let's talk about something else. <laughs> you got a place out here now? I wish. The rent out here in North Hollywood. Way too expensive for me to live. <laughs> I'm looking for a roommate. Right. How about you? You with your sister? Ugh, hell no. Yeah, she kicked me out. But it's okay, because I found some roommates. But my break is over. Oh. But you have to use my number, because I gave it to you. So thank you. Oh, wait. I forgot to tell you. I'm thinking about being an actress. So you follow my advice. See, I told you. You got that look. I can see you becoming a star. Thank you. Come on, give me a hug. I got to go. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry for sitting on the counter. Oh, no, you good, girl. Don't worry. It's just what I usually do at home. You know? <laughs> You're fine. Thank God you made some coffee. Oh yeah, it's organic. Shit, I don't care if it's nuclear or GMO. <laughs> Give me something to cure this damn hangover. Mm. I seen that idiot Quincy left already. Thank God I did not feel like arguing with his ass again this morning. Oh, by the way, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you want something to eat? Oh no, I'm good, thank you. Mm. Look, I'm sorry about last night. I had way too many drinks. <laughs> And I apologize for all the cursing and fussing Queen was doing. I hope we weren't too loud. Actually, you guys kind of were. I'm surprised that the neighbors didn't come knocking. But me, I'm used to it. I come from a dysfunctional family, so. So you're from Detroit? The D, right? Yep. 
<laughs> I'm from Chicago originally. Oh, Chi Town. Okay, yes. I see you. Two Midwesterners. Yup. Look, Sasha, I'm going to keep it real with you. Me and Quincy, we're not doing too good these days. That's surprising because y'all was real loud making up last night. Well, that's just it. Like, the only thing we have in common is fucking. His dick is the only reason why I'm with his ass. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Haven't y'all been together for a really long time? Yeah, it's been like five years now. But I'm tired of paying all the bills when all he does is just pursue his screenwriting dreams. I mean, at least he has a dream and he's working toward it. And like these other fools who just be talking about it ain't got no action. Hasn't he sold a couple of scripts? No, they were options. Meaning he gets a small advance until or if it gets made into a movie. Okay. I'm tired. And I don't think I can go another year on Quincy's broken promises. Matter of fact, I can't go another day. Girl, it can't be that bad. Look, I'm thinking about being an actress. Maybe one day I can be in one of his movies. Okay, good luck with that shit. Sasha, this is LA. Everybody wants to be a star. Writer, director, actor, whatever. Like me personally, I need somebody with some job security or a 401k, not a dreamer. Girl, what you doing here on your day off? Am I not allowed to eat here on my day off? If you want to take my shift so I can go home or... Boy, bye. No, I'm treating my sister to lunch. Huh? your sister, huh? Mm. So what's your name? Samantha. Hmm. Samantha, huh? Well, you fine than a mug. Okay, no, okay, no. Don't pay him no attention. He flirts with every girl that walks in the door. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. No, you do. Oh, no, is it time to get back to work? Okay, bye. Go back to work. Yeah. 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 Okay. Back to work. Well, are you ready to order? Just let me know. I will. Okay, bye. I mean, he cute, but he too young. And he probably too broke for me. You know I knew you was going to say that. Look, Sasha... It's not that I didn't want you to move here. It's just I don't want to be responsible for you, okay? Why? Look, we're supposed to be sisters whether you think we're blood or not. I mean, us black girls should learn how to look out for here one another. You go with this sisterhood bullshit. It's not shit, Sam. It's real. Okay, I'm supposed to be there for you, and you should be there for me, point blank, period. Anyways, I'm hungry. Do they got fried lobster on this menu? Nah, but they do got some bar mash shrimp, though. I want lobster. You hungry, right? Well, you buying, so whatever. Yes, I'm buying. O'Shea! a joke? What are we doing here? I told you I don't want to be near your daughter. Sasha, what the hell is going on? This bitch. For somebody not to like me, you sure jocking my style. Samantha. You can't dress like this. You have no style to jock. I don't know what's happening here, Kevin. But until your daughter learns to stop disrespecting me with her Angry ass, I don't want to be near Listen, her. Listen, just give me a minute, baby. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Relax, okay? Sasha thought it would be a good idea if we all of us got together and started fresh, you know, and get along. Did you forget she spit in my face? Bye. I'm going home. Are you coming? Kevin? I spoke loud and clear. Bye. Baby. I... Oh. Samantha. We're trying to we're trying to build a family. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Don't touch me. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh. I'm sorry, baby. I tried. But, mm. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Bye, Kevin.
Kevin. Go run after that young ass like you always do. Samantha, why do you always have to... Never mind. I'm not going there. Bye, Daddy. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you bring him here? In what world is this okay? Samantha, I just want us to be a family. That's it. That, that's all I want. You are forcing a situation that doesn't need to I'm be forced. I'm not forcing anything. You don't like the bitch, you don't like the bitch. You know that what? is our father at the end of the day. You brought your ass out here. Yes. I didn't ask you to come. And I damn sure didn't ask you to reunite me with that man. Samantha, I did not come out here for you. But at the end of the day, we are in the Good. same city. So stay out of We're it. We're in the same so city. Stay out of we my life. We are family. We're blood. You We're know what? sisters. You ride that real hard, don't you? Yes. Since when are we family? Since, Since when the hell have you ever Since done anything whenever for me? I knew you were my sister. You were my blood. That's it. That's our father. And that's what this is? Yes. I love you no matter what. You're supposed to this love me too. Bullshit, okay? It's not bullshit. I don't have to love you. You don't have to pretend to love me. It should be and unconditional. And we damn sure ain't about to love this nigga. Unconditional? That's not a nigga. That is your father. Speak about him with respect. I don't give a fuck about what you say about her. That is our dad. Talk about that nigga with respect? Do then not you go say after that. him and you go kiss his ass. I'm not gonna and maybe kiss his ass. he'll give you what some more money. Kiss his ass for? I'm sorry, is that what you buying the bill with? That's is that daddy's love. money? It's not daddy's money. It's what I came out here. I've been through some shit. He knows that I'm his daughter. He loves me. And guess what, you know Samantha? What? He loves you too. That shit he just pulled, he tried to give you a hug. What'd you do? What'd you do? You rejected your own father. I'm not doing this right now with you. I'm not doing this ever with you. Ever? Don't you bring that man around me. Where are you going? Fuck out of here. Samantha! Oh, fuck you, bitch. Oh, my God. Why? 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 You got some fucking fuck. You got some fucking. Fuck. Thank you. Fuck. 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 Holy oh, shit! Who fucking leave me? Stupid nigga! My half sister, Sasha. Yeah, her. Invited me to dinner at the Bish Trap because she got a new job there, but it was a setup. So my father comes in with his skirt chasing ass with that Haitian chick. Yes, girl, I was like. right there not this mumble jumble rap shit guys wearing girls clothes and and fucking money stacks for phones and Quincy what happened where's Carmen we didn't get robbed oh, only thing got stolen was my heart my fucking soul man she left me she left you for the dude across the hall. Yeah. Yep. Yo, Quincy, I'm so sorry this happened. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, everything for a reason, huh? Yeah, man, she didn't believe in you. What are you doing, Quincy? Hey, Quincy, you're drunk. You need to get your mind right, okay? Sleep it off. Get some sleep. Man. You know what? Let me call you back. What are you stalking me or something? Samantha, I need to talk to you. Oh. Hi. Samantha. 
Everything's all right. You're fine. It's good. It's good. Thank you. God, I'm so pretty for us. God, I thought he was. I thought he was going to shoot you. I got you. I love you. I love you. We're going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I'm going to be much better. I promise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As you can see so far, my life has been a roller coaster ride. And hopefully, I found some inner peace and maybe even love. Dude, I can't believe I let you talk me into this shit. Yo, this is therapeutic. Okay, look how beautiful this view is. It is beautiful, but after all that alcohol last night... I don't want to talk about last night. What do you want to talk about, then? 